Picking up from the last video, we left off where start recording, stop recording, play recording, those don't change colors, and they should. And we want to get ready, share screen, and then these, uh, these other inputs. So let's do that in this video. In Screen Recorder, we're going to need to drop in. Let's go back over to Scripts. I'm going to grab Change Buttons out of Show My Feed, and I will drop them in to Start Recording. So right below Start. We'll put the first one and uh, the first one will remain green because we've already shared uh, we're already showing stop my video should be blue blue this one will turn green because we just shared this one will now turn blue and this one will remain gray and then the last one will also remain blue now something that we should check for just some basic air prevention is check to make sure that a stream exists before we send it to the media recorder in start recording we're going to drop up at the top here. If there's no stream, then we are going to return. And before we return, let's drop in there an alert. No current feed. Okay, you could add some more stuff if you wanted to check to make sure, hey, is the video actually shown before we turn you know, these two green, etc. You can, but that is okay for now. This needs to be here because otherwise line 11 will fail. We can't have a new uh, media recorder without an actual stream. Let's copy line 18 here, uh, or 18 through 20, I guess, and let's come down to stop recording. We'll do something similar here. Let's make sure that there is a media recorder. So uh, rather, I guess if there's not a media recorder, we will return. And let's drop up top here, alert, please record before stopping. Okay, again, just a <laughs> real, real tiny little test. And then we'll change the buttons to where these two are, are still green, blue, blue. This was already green. This is going to go to green. And this one will now become blue. Grab this and pull it down to play recording. Down here, we're going to have a check and just make sure that there's recorded blobs. So if there aren't, we'll return. But before we do, we'll alert no recording saved. Okay, and then at the bottom here, this last one will be green. Every, everything else should be the same. So you shouldn't be able to click, or I guess you, you can still click on stop recording. It just won't do anything if you haven't actually started the recording because there won't be a media recorder. You can click on play recording, but it won't do anything because there won't be any blobs yet because the media recorder hasn't stopped, which means on data available hasn't changed, so that won't have been updated. So that should cover us. Let's set up our next file. And that's going to be share screen.js. Let's go to index.html. Let's import that. We'll call it share screen naturally. And then let's uh, let's go ahead and define that function. So we'll have share screen equals a function. And inside share screen, let's uh, grab the screen recording. Let's change button here out of there. And let's drop that in. If you have gotten to share screen, then it is possible that you have not taken this path, meaning you have shared and shown, and then you immediately went to share screen, which means these wouldn't already be green. So I'm just going to make a note here. We don't handle all button paths. To do so, you'd need to check the DOM, or better yet, have some kind of UI framework. Okay, let's go over and let's add our, our click handler. So in scripts, this is just preparing for the next video. I'm going to copy that one, drop it in. Uh, our button ID is share screen. So let's grab that, drop that in here. And our function is called share screen. So this should kick off now. We come back over and refresh. Share, we know this part works. Show, start recording, do something, stop recording play recording, share screen. Okay, so our buttons are doing what they're supposed to. That will cover us for just some basic UI updates. I will see you in the next video where we will fill this out.